Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and in today's video we are doing some cleaning so I hope to get you guys motivated and if you enjoy cleaning videos then this is for you. I am starting with unloading the dishwasher and as you can see we are using Christmas China exclusively and I do that every month of December and I got a few questions about whether it is okay to use the Spode Christmas wear in the dishwasher and their website says it absolutely is unless you have some kind of gold or metal trim on it and I have been doing it for years and it has been coming out great and still looks wonderful. I have been enjoying this month of December and getting ready for Christmas. I am really in the spirit this year. I'm listening to some Christmas music as I clean and I have set a goal for myself that after I finish cleaning this morning, I'm going to make a few candles to give as gifts to some of our neighbors and friends. And so I'm really looking forward to that and having that little carrot set before me will get me motivated to get my cleaning done quickly today. are the dishes from the night before that have been sitting out on the counter drying so I'm going to put them away as well and get a lot of my tidying done in the kitchen before I start dusting and getting our floors clean. So if you'd like to see how I am making some soy all natural candles that are scented with just essential oils to give as gifts this year, then watch till the end of the video and I will show you how I'm doing it. For those of you who are Austin fans, I thought I'd show you what he was up to while I was cleaning this morning. So he's having a little nap now, but he's going to get active and get involved in the cleaning a little later in the video. I'm feeling good because I've got some beans soaking for dinner tonight, so I feel on top of my game, and I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up before I get down to the real cleaning. Paper clutter can always be a nightmare if you just let it pile up. So I really try to tackle everything almost as soon as it comes in the house. And around Christmas time, we have lots of magazines and catalogs and things like that that are coming in that we enjoy looking at, but just as soon as we're finished, they're going in the recycling bin. When I was decorating for Christmas, I put everything that I haven't used in the last couple years in this bag. So I've got these candles that are LED lights, some Christmas balls, and also some glass dishes that have lids that are broken. So these things are all going to Goodwill when I leave to go get Peyton. And I also have my steam mop, which I haven't used in a long time, so someone else could be benefiting from that. And now I'm going to get to work using my extendable duster from E-Cloth to get the dusting done in the living room and in our bedroom. 
And while I am enjoying all of the decor that I got out for Christmas and it's only here for a short period of time, I am reminded how nice it's going to be when it's not here and how easy it will be to clean. corner and this chair is where I like to do my Bible reading in the morning. I like to call it my quiet time where I pray and work on Bible study and I have this blanket to cozy up with as I do that each day. So I'm just going to straighten that before vacuuming.
while I have the vacuum out, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up all the pine needles from underneath the tree. And this is the downside to having a real Christmas tree, but I still love it. As you can see, Austin is awake from his nap and ready to get in on the action. So the Roomba already ran here in the living room and in the kitchen. So I'm just going to go over the floors quickly with my new Flexi Edge floor and wall duster from eCloth. And it's new to Austin too. He thinks it's a new toy just for him and he had a blast with this today as you will see. When it got out the mop, Austin lost interest. It just wasn't as fun as that big fluffy furry thing running around all over the floor. I showed you guys my new mop in my last video, and this is also from eCloth. It's their Aqua Spray Deep Clean Mop, and it uses the same microfiber mop pad that I've been using all along, but it has an onboard water system, so it makes it super easy. I can just spray the water out onto the floor as the mop gets dry, and so when I have a lot of floor surface to cover, it makes my job so much easier. If you guys are interested in any of the eCloth products that I'm showing today or in any of my other videos, I always have a link in the description box for you guys to use because I love eCloth and that is what I truly use to clean our home. E-Cloth uses microfibers to trap all of the dust and dirt and really clean all of the surfaces thoroughly using just water. So it eliminates the need for any harsh chemicals and everything can be put in the washing machine at the end of the day and it will come back just as clean as it was when it was new.
takes a few minutes for the floors to dry, so now I can have fun making candles. I'm just melting a cup of soy wax, two tablespoons of beeswax, and two tablespoons of coconut oil in a double boiler on very low heat. After the waxes and the oil are completely melted, then I remove it from the heat, and now I'm going to add the essential oils. And this is a blend that I have been enjoying in our diffuser so much. I think I talked about it in my last video. And so I'm going to use the same combination to make this soy candle. And it's going to be a four ounce candle. So I'm going to add 40 drops of peppermint oil, 26 drops of orange essential oil, and 14 drops of cassia. And if you are not familiar with cassia, this is probably my favorite essential oil. It is warm and spicy, sort of like cinnamon, but sweeter. And it's going to make this candle smell amazing. And so I just put the wick in a little bit of wax and stick it to the bottom of the jar. And this is just a jar that I saved from a Mrs. Myers candle. It makes the perfect four ounce container and it even has a lid. Then I just straighten up the wick a little bit and leave it to solidify. And it just takes a little over an hour for a candle this size. And when it's all ready, I can decorate it and get it ready to give as a gift. I buy all of my essential oils from Simply Earth and I have a link for them in the description box as well. So if you guys are looking for 100% pure essential oils at a price that's about a third of all of the major brands, then definitely check them out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation, some entertainment from Austin, and even some homemade gift ideas. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining our Faith and Flower community. I look forward to talking with you guys in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week.